What's going on everyone? Austin John Plays here and today we're going to be talking about a duplication glitch for weapons that works in version 1.1.2. If you did not want to update to 1.1.2, but you did not turn that off in system settings, like I did in this Nintendo Switch, by the way, pro tip, if you do want to turn it off, you go into settings, you go to system, scroll all the way to the bottom, you're going to see automatic software updates. You may want to turn that off if you want to remain on a specific software version. Since Tears of the Kingdom is not an online game, you do not have to be online for pretty much anything. Now, there is a duplication glitch that can occur in 1.1.2 involving the Rock Octorok. The Rock Octorok is found all throughout the Elden region and you can use its services once per Blood Moon. I previously made a video covering how you can use a Rock Octorok to get better modifiers, to replenish durability of weapons, and several other uses that this guy is good for. And then after you're done with the services, you have to take him out and then he will respawn on the next Blood Moon. Well, he's going to be an integral part in order for us to do this glitch on 1.1.2. It's not the most difficult thing to do, but it does require a little bit of practice, a little bit of luck and some good timing. First thing is make sure all of your sages are off. That way they're not accidentally going to KO this. And we're going to go ahead and drop down a save in front of him. From here, all you have to do is take whatever weapon that you want and drop it. Now do keep in mind, he is limited on the specific weapons that he can do. So he is unable to do magic rods, magic wands, and weapons that have an amiibo weapon as the base. You could always just make the amiibo weapon the second half and then just go to Tarrytown, pay the 20 rupees at the break apart shop and then have them break it apart and then you're good to go. For things like the Bagoron sword, the fierce deity sword and the champion's weapons. I'm gonna go ahead and use this knight's bow as an example. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this and now I'm going to use recall. There is going to be a very short window of time when this bow is next to him that you're going to be able to do this. I can't really explain exactly what it is, but you'll know when it's too late, so you're better off doing it earlier. In fact, it took me about six times to get this consecutive to actually get this to work for the first time. But while you're on this rewind screen, you want to focus on your weapon and you re want to rewind it. If he continues sucking in air, that lets you know that you did not do it in time. You were too early. So after he's done, just go ahead, disable the rewind and try it again. See how it just disappeared? I was too late. Because of that, I'm gonna have to go and reload my game. When reloading to expedite your experience, you may wanna go ahead and change your ability over to recall immediately and make sure that your sages are no longer active. That way you can just do this a lot faster. Once again, gonna go ahead, drop the bow. Octorok is gonna go ahead, start sucking it in. And I was definitely too early. Go ahead, disable recall, wait for him to try again. Oh, is this it? Nope, too early. It's better to be too early than too late because it takes a lot less time for you to go ahead and rewind your bow than it does for you to reload your save. Oh, I accidentally canceled it and I think that was the perfect frame. Editing Austin, can you highlight that frame? Maybe. Oh, yes, there we go. Okay. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, first of all, editing Austin, do me a favor and put down how long. Bro, it's first thing in the morning. I don't know. It's 18? Why weren't you counting? Why do I have to do it? This is bullshit. After you get this correctly, you have to go and get your item while it is still in the middle of recall. And after he spits it out, you're going to be able to get it. Now, after you drop it down, you are going to be getting a modifier on it because it is going to be considered already affected by the Octorok, even though you didn't see the animation for it. And then your new one is also going to have the same exact modifier on it. So it is a little rough, 
but it is a lot easier than going out and spending materials if you wanted to do champions weapons or a rarer weapon or something that's already fused with a rare resource so this is it could take a while it's difficult to do and it has existed in previous versions just no one did it because well you could just reload your game and that was significantly more consistent to pull off but if you're on 1.1.2, this may be the only way that you can go ahead and duplicate weapons for the time being, until something else is found. I'm sure another day is gonna pass and another duplication glitch is gonna be found that's gonna work. We're just gonna have to wait and see. But here's gonna be a nice, quick and easy version 1.1.2 duplication glitch for bows, shields, and weapons. If you wanted to duplicate a diamond, fuse a diamond to a bow, and then do this trick. Do keep in mind, after you use him for his services, you have to knock him out, and then he's going to respawn the next Blood Moon. Great. Well, guys, I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, turning on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.